Right, this is the DJI Action 5 Pro low light mic. We're going to go out and test it right now. This is all just simple, no nonsense footage. It's what it looks like out of camera. So if you've ever done an action camera review and you've got a brief from a company, one of the things that they write in it is, do not go into the forest. I don't know why, but I thought I'd start off with the first scene with the DJI Action 5 Pro with me in the forest, just walking. Um, it looks good on the screen. It's a nice little camera, it really is. Now if I spin it around and look the other way, this is what it looks like. It looks really smooth. The sky looks blue. It's a nice blue sky today. My feet, they look good. Everything seems to look good. Does anybody know why they tell us not to go into forests? As reviewers, YouTubers, creators, they, they basically write, do not go into a forest. That's why I'm in a forest. So what I'm doing now is I am comparing the iPhone 16 Pro Max to the DJI Action 5 Pro. And this is what they look like right next to each other. Nothing funny going on, basically just holding both of them and walking. So that's my car right there. And we have the iPhone 16 Pro Max again and the DJI Action 5 Pro. And to get the same kind of field of view, we need to have the iPhone on 0.5 times. And that looks pretty similar. And so you have a pretty similar kind of field of view. And they both, well, that's what they look like. Let's have a look at the sky. Not bad, huh? I do love how smooth the camera is. This is me just holding it and flipping it 180 degrees vertically so I get this cool shot. Come on, let's go. Let's find the ducks. This is me holding the Action 5 Pro in my hand, literally just walking behind my son Oscar. He's looking for ducks, he wants to feed the ducks, and I'm not doing anything weird, I'm basically just walking, no ninja walk, and it's pretty smooth, isn't it? Here, I just placed it underwater and just threw leaves on the surface of the water with Mia and, you know, got a cool little video. It It's pretty nice. Right, we have some bright sun and we are feeding the ducks. Um, just checking out the lens flares here. The lens is completely clean and this is what the lens flares look like. There you go. Natural lens flares. Still feeding the ducks? Whoa! It is a very, very nice day today. This is me walking sideways. You can see a little bit of a kind of footstep, but I'm holding it sideways and just walking with it. Just a really, really simple shot. Right, so this is my family throwing acorns into the lake in the slow-mo mode, which doesn't record sound. And I'd also like to show you that not only I can jump in a cool way, but my son Oscar and my daughter Mia can too. We, we basically rule at jumping off things. Now, if you are using the slow-mo mode, which I don't know why you would, there is no sound. There is no stabilization. It's very, very authentic. As you can see, I'm running after Mia. She's legging it. She's very, very fast. And this is what it looks like. But if you're filming normal, in 120 FPS and slow it down, then you get sound and you get stabilization. Just look how cool this looks. It's incredible. I mean, 
I look fantastic. So one of the coolest things is that now in the DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro, we can connect two DJI mics like in the Pocket 3. So if you're doing an interview, you have that option. As well as the 32-bit and basically the audio backup, everything. And you have on the front and the back of the screen audio levels, which is fantastic. The DJI mic will connect and disconnect automatically, so you don't have to play around. When it comes to 4K 16x9 or 4x3, we have every single frame rate you can imagine all the way up to 120 frames per second down to your American 24, I use 25. Rocksteady, Rocksteady Plus and Horizon Balancing, 245 degrees, Ultra Wide, Wide and D Warp, which is what I use. Now we also have Super Night, which is, um, it's interesting, you'll see that later on in the video. You can change it from daily to sport stabilization. But um, I still feel a little bit chilly because I do get the jitters. Now we also have normal 10 bit, normal 8 bit, HLG 10 bit, and D Log M 10 bit, which is very nice. And you also have color recovery. It's like in a color assist that will make sure that you can see the colors you're filming without having to look at a dull gray screen. Now, one of the most awesome things about the DJI Action 5 Pro is it has internal storage 48 gigabytes. I don't even put a memory card in this thing. Anyway, a little word from Artlist. You could win $100,000 to make your dreams come true. And I have some pretty wacky dreams. In fact, I, I think I should win $100,000 because I've basically, most of my life, been inspired by photos and I've turned them into video. And now, because I don't have the budget, I've been making the photos that I want in AI but I'd like to take those photos and turn them into video. But you need a lot of money for the kind of stuff that I have in my head. Imagine winning $100,000. $100,000 to make your creative dreams come true. With Artlist, you can. And if you submit your ideas to wherever you have to, um, you're gonna be able to have a chance of winning that kind of money to make your wacky ideas come true. Right, so at the moment we're looking at 4K 4x3. So it's kind of a squarish kind of format. So you can cut yourself out vertically or horizontally. And we're also listening to me on the DJI Mic 2. Now this is my DJI Mic 2 from the um, DJI Pocket 3. I don't actually have the full set but it basically means that you can put the camera down anywhere and have the flexibility of walking away and still having as good audio as you do right next to the camera. So if I put it down right here and I do walk away, I can see that the green bar on top of the front of the screen is still, you know, moving. So I can basically have good audio here, good audio there, and it doesn't matter if I turn the camera around, I can still look in this direction and the audio should not change. And it's nice that we have an indicator of the levels on the back of the screen and on the front of the screen. You can connect DJI mic to the Insta products as well, but you can't connect to the GoPro products, which is a big shame because it's a fantastic little microphone and probably the only one out there with the Bluetooth feature, giving you so much flexibility without having to use wires or you know using the transmitter and the receiver. It's a cool thing. So this here is subject tracking and I can see like a gray box around me and I can see it's tracking me. So I don't know, if I walk over here. What is this little camera gonna be doing? I mean, definitely for it to, you know, sound good. It probably needs the DJI mic attached, but but is it is it actually tracking me? Is it, does it look any good or does it look like, you know, 720p? Right, now I'm tracking Mia. Mia, walk over here, over here, over here, over here. This way. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Walk back there. So I'm tracking Mia now in 16x9. And I can see a little green box around her. And I'm not moving the camera at all. Okay, walk up to me. Say hello, my name is Mia. 
Right, because I couldn't be bothered taking a selfie stick. All this is basically me hand-holding the Osmo Action 5 Pro. And these are less than optimal conditions for a Rocksteady Plus check. But um, I'm going to do a little run and you guys can have a look what it looks like. I am shaking my hands spatially a little bit, just so you can see. This is about 17 millimeter, by the way, when you have Rocksteady Plus on. And, you know, I wonder if there are any jitters. It's nice and smooth, how I'm looking. How did that look? This right here is D-Log M. And D-Log M basically is kind of a log profile, but it's a little bit flatter. And it's very nice and it's on the drones, on the action cameras, on, you know, the pocket free, and it allows you to match everything really nicely together, which is pretty cool. Now, um, it's a little bit dark um, here in the forest where I'm probably not supposed to be when doing an action camera review, but <laughs> there are so many people around and some of them actually had action cameras. So I'm guessing it is a place where people go with action cameras. This is standard 10-bit, by the way. We also have standard 8-bit and we have HLG 10-bit. So I think most people are gonna be using the standard. I do like the D-Log M, but it's just so much easier and fast to put it on standard 10-bit, get it out, and that's about it. But if you are using D-Log M, you do have like color assist kind of on it. So if you don't want it to look all flat and boring, you can press the button. It kind of adds a kind of a simulation of a lot and you can see more or less what you're filming, which is nice. Right, two shots on the left with the sun, on the right against the sun. So the sun went down about 20 minutes ago. And this is the normal mode actually. And this is what my city looks like in normal mode. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch it from normal mode to low light mode. So we can have a look what that looks like because DJI Action 5 Pro now has a special dedicated low light mode much like the Insta360 Ace Pro. So let's check that out. Right, that is now with the low light mode on. It does look a lot brighter. And we're gonna do a quick walk and a quick run at the end of it, see if it has any jitters. So my street, let's cross the road and have a look at the um, flamingos, which are normally pretty fun for low light stuff. This is Wuch, by the way, in Poland, literally the very center of Poland. And this is what it looks like. And these are our flamingos. That's pretty crazy, huh? Look at that. Madness. This is what sometimes keeps us up to the very morning. But, um, yeah. A lot of cool lights, a lot of neons. Great place to test out low light. So like I said, 20 minutes ago, sun went down. It's what it looks like with no sunlight anymore. And, um, yeah. It looks good on the screen. It looks good. I'm interested about the jitters. Let's walk through here and have a look what everything looks like. See what the music sounds like. Everybody's happy having a beer. That must be nice. I'm actually in a 10 minute rush because I basically said give me 10 minutes I'm gonna low light test this camera run out and I'll be back to watch the kids. <laughs> that's, um, that's my life yeah. But um, yeah, look at this. Isn't this place beautiful? I've got to tell you, looking at the screen, this looks really very, very nice. It really does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around the corner where I normally do my run, and we're gonna leg it. Well, I'm, actually, I'm gonna leg it home because I'll be in trouble if I don't get home in the next four minutes. But. Um, we're basically going to have a look and see what this looks like running. Because the Insta360 Ace Pro has very, very little jitters compared to other cameras when we're running. You know, they have this AI technology. They did a really, really good job when it comes to low light and it's very hard to beat. But I've had a few of my friends telling me that this camera is a low light monster. So um, we're going to check that out around the corner. I'm getting ready zipping up my pocket so nothing flies out and um, we will see in fact this might be a long segment because it's two 
minutes, 30 seconds. Oh, and one thing I will tell you is that I will be comparing the Action 5 Pro to the Ace Pro, Ace Pro 2, to the GoPro Hero 13 in low light. Just give me a couple of days um, and we'll do that. Right, walking onto the street. Here is Ulica Piotkowska in watch. Looking mighty nice. That's interesting how the lights look next to each other. And let's leg it, come on. Normally, the building behind me kind of lets me know just how much we're, um, we're jittering. As you can see the lights kind of, you know, jumping around. And what I'm gonna do in a minute is take the iPhone 16 Pro Max out and show you exactly what everything looks like. So that should give you an idea of where everything looks like. And I think I'll finish the film here, more or less. What I'm gonna do now is take out the iPhone and show you what they look like side by side. By the way, this is now in vertical and I have the iPhone 16 Pro Max in 0.5 times. That is more or less what you need to um, compare it when it comes to field of view with the DJI Action 5 Pro. Um, the Action 5 Pro is in normal, it's not in um, low light, so I think low light crops in a little bit. But yeah, this is what they look like with the um, Action in 4K and the iPhone in 4K. So the Action is sideways, so it's a full 4K readout. One thing I did forget to do that I want to include in my video is an audio test between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro. So. My name is Philip, I live 24 years in London and then I moved to Poland to study cinematography. Now the iPhone. My name is Philip, I lived in London for 24 years and then I moved to Poland to study cinematography. Um, the iPhone 16 Pro Max apparently has four studio grade microphones in it now. Um, the Action 5 Pro, how does it sound in comparison? Uh, there is a building behind me that is creating quite a lot of ambient noise and um, but but here it's pretty quiet you can't really hear much apart from that so quick view and I'll show you what this all looks like iPhone already looks like it's moving around a little bit but I'm holding it on top of the Action 5 Pro but you get more or less a, a good idea of what everything looks like right and let's see this difficult spot with these neons. There we go. Interesting, huh? Alright, I better get home before I get killed. So, um, I'll catch you guys on the next one.